Dell has announced the new XPS 13 Plus at CES 2022, which features an ultra-thin bezel, a haptic trackpad, and function key controls. Dell is revamping the XPS 13, one of their most popular products and indeed one of the most popular laptops in the world. Dell describes it as minimalist and modern, and it is certainly minimalist. There is no distinct touchpad, just a single piece of glass along the front of the system. The touchpad doesn't go from one end to the other, however. It runs from the outside edge of one alt key to the outside edge of the other. You will need some muscle memory to get a sense of where it begins and ends. I can see this being controversial or at least not universally loved, but when I had a chance to play with one in person before CS, I liked the clean look. The keyboard now runs across the entire width with keys that are bigger almost touching one another. Dell refers to this as zero lattice. It is reminiscent of the keyboard of the original 12-inch MacBook. More interesting is what's above that keyboard a new capacitive function key row. That's right, instead of physical function keys, there's now a touch-controlled strip that can swap between FN keys and media control keys. If that's a little too much like the widely disliked touch bar on MacBooks, well, you've got a point. Everything about the XPS 13 Plus focuses on design. It has a four-sided Infinity Edge 13.4-inch display with up to 4K resolution and OLED options available, two hidden upward-firing speakers underneath the keyboard deck and two down firing speakers for an excellent audio experience. It's available in both platinum and graphic color options too. The display can go up to a 4K OLED screen and 28 watt Intel processors, up from 15 watt CPU on other XPS 13 laptops. The 2.7 pound system is 15.3 millimeters thick and shaves off a bit of thickness and weight by eliminating the top glass layer of the display, which Dell says won't affect ruggedness. My only other real knock about this otherwise impressive debut is that it won't have a full HD 1080p resolution webcam. It comes without saying that the bezels around the displays are still minuscule on the XPS 13 Plus and that there's still a camera at the top, the same kind of HD model with support for Hello that was implemented on the XPS 13 9310. It does the job but with rather washed out image quality. There's also a finger sensor implemented on this series in the top right corner of the keyboard deck. A few details come to mind. First off, the keyboard is entirely different from any other keyboards in the laptop space available right now. The layout stretches the entire length of the chassis, which leads to unusually large keycaps, but there's also almost no spacing between the keys. On top of that, the keys have a slightly concave dish shape and only travel one millimeters into the chassis. Finally, Dell ditched the top row of function keys for a set of dual functionality capacity zones atop of the regular keys. The connectivity is USB-C only now, with only a Thunderbolt 4 slot on each side. There's no longer a micro SD card reader or a 3.5 mm audio jack as with the previous generations. Heck, not even Apple went as far as removing the audio jack on their MacBook Air. Asus were the only one to dabble with it and took so much heat from reviewers and buyers that they quickly changed their mind and brought the jack back on the more recent updates. Even the webcam has improved, though still 720p Dell now has two cameras, one RGB, one infrared, which gets better quality and resolution. Previously, the ER RGB was combined into one camera, resulting in about 20% loss of the pixels used for the IR portion and Windows Hello. On the inside, we have Intel 12th Gen i5 or i7 chips at 28 watt, making the XPS 13 plus the most powerful XPS 13 ever. It also has up to 32 gigs RAM, 2 TB PCIe storage, 2 Thunderbolt 4 ports, and ships with Windows 11 Home or Pro, or Ubuntu if you opt for the XPS 13 Plus Developer Edition. On top of sporting a new design, the XPS 13 Plus looks to be one of the most powerful Dell laptops yet. It's the first XPS 13 model that will feature the new 12th Gen Intel Core processors, which promise a notable bump in performance and battery life. The XPS 13 was already impressive on both fronts with the older 11th gen processors, so we're eager to see how the bump in power will help the XPS 13 Plus take on newer rivals like the 14-inch MacBook Pro. Dell also says the XPS 13 Plus has larger fans that will allow for 55% better airflow, ideal for actually working on your lap, and an Express Charge 2.0 feature that will let you juice the notebook up to 80% in less than an hour. 